Hello and welcome to Fundamental Algorithms in Scala by Pact Publishing. My name is James Kotayer. I'm a software developer and a Scala trainer with interest in scalable, high-performance programming and algorithm design. What's the quickest way for you to learn a new programming language? One way to do this is to pick a specific well-known problem and discover the tools available in your language. You then use these tools to build experience while solving the problem. This is learning by example. In this course, we'll do exactly that. The course is designed so in each section we pick one simple problem. We then walk through the solution using various functional tools available in Scala. Along the way, you will learn the new tools and concepts. We start the course by introducing what it means to be functional and which principles we should follow while developing in Scala. In the first section, we show how to install Scala in your IDE and walk through our first few lines of code. We also kickstart the course by solving the intersection problem in various ways. In section two, we pick an easy problem, that of converting from decimal to binary and show how to solve it. We then present two implementations for the problem, the classic iterative manner and later a more functional approach. In the third section, we look into sequences. We discuss different types of sequences and show ways on how to generate each type. Along the way, we'll see examples on how to use Scala concepts such as traits and streams. The next section is about greedy problems. We give a real world example where a greedy algorithm would come in handy and present the implementation of the classic solution and a more functional approach. In section five, we try to build an algorithm to evaluate mathematical expressions. We do this by first showing how the algorithm works and then build the implementation in small steps. In this section, we'll make use of new Scala functions and introduce pattern matching. Section six is all about prime numbers. We walk through the various manners of generating prime numbers and present implementations for both. We'll learn how to use various collection functions and explore more pattern matching concepts. In the final section, we again pick a real world problem to describe divide and conquer algorithms. We discuss the performance advantages of divide and conquer techniques and then present implementations in Scala. For this course, it's enough if you have a Mac, Linux, or a Windows operating system with an IDE such as IntelliJ or Eclipse installed. Knowledge of Java is not strictly required. However, some experience would help you understand some concepts quicker. The target audience for this course are developers who want to experience functional programming and learn Scala by example. It's also ideal for developers who want to do a refresher about data structures and algorithm and want to learn how these can be implemented functionally. By the end of the course, you will have learned about principles of functional programming and discover how to apply these principles in Scala. Of course, you won't be an expert. However, you'll have the knowledge and tools to start developing applications. You will also have experienced various interesting algorithms and learn how they work. So let's get started with our first section and learn all about functional programming in Scala.